Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Dubai, depending on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Now the update. Eastern region under lock and key as beer friends, remember the heroes. Now it was lockdown, complete lockdown in Imo and other south eastern states as beer friends remained indoors to show solidarity, respect to the fallen heroes in the three in the three in the thirty most civil war that raged between the federal forces and the fighters soldiers from the Biafran Republic side. So it happened that people remained indoors. They stayed indoors. Schools were locked. Government offices were locked. Markets were under lock and key. Streets were empty. Roads were empty. You see, public places were locked. It's only essential service workers we are allowed to operate, like the hospitals. Across the five southeastern states, the story was the same. People respectfully stayed indoors to honor the fallen heroes, and we commend that. Nobody forced them. There was no force exerted in any way. It was only by their conviction that they have to remember their people. So we love this level of consciousness and our people that indeed something happened between 1967 to 1970. Something strong is not only in Biafra land that we do such members. Yes, the, the Hiroshima of the Second World War is being remembered in Japan. The Holocaust is there. You remember it. So those things are keen to what happened. In Biafra land, so we do remember it, and we appreciate our people in the entire southeastern states for their full compliance. Full compliance. Government workers stayed indoors; they didn't go out. Government offices were locked because people workers refused to come out to go to work. They are remembering their heroes. Okay. Now, what led to it? The 30th May, 1967, the Republic was declared. We promise to go down memory lane to evoke some of these uh, historical facts okay and that is what we want to do now Dim Odume Gojuku declared the then eastern region an independent state of the Republic of Biafra a move that ultimately resulted in bloodletting hunger and widespread displacement in a war between Nigerian soldiers and the Biafran fighters yes the federal government led forces collaborated with mercenaries foreign mercenaries attacked the young republic and the republic were defending themselves now in the build up to the to the war was a series of killings that characterized the coup of 1966 perceived as an evil plot and the, the counter coup staged by northern soldiers six months after that was even deadlier while the crisis lingered ojuku who was the premier or governor of this region ordered the Igbo residents in the north to return to their homeland all right and so to maintain peace and to maintain peace delegates of the federal military government and those of the eastern region met at aburi a Ghanaian town where the popular Aburi Accord was signed. About four months down the line, on May 27, 1967, Yakubu Gowon, then head of state, announced the creation of 12 states, breaking the eastern region into three, namely southeastern states, river states, and east central states. A move seen by Odume Gujuku as contrary to the letters of the Aburi Accord. There, Go on, break the Aburi Accord. He reneged on that. Now, two days after, on May 30th, he deemed Chukwemokad Megu 
declared that the eastern region is breaking away from Nigeria as the Republic of Biafra. And that was the last straw that drew the battle lines. Look at the statement or the speech of Dim Chukwemakadme Wajuku on that fateful day. I read, Fellow countrymen and women, you, the people of eastern Nigeria, conscious of the supreme authority of Almighty God over all my kind, of your duty to yourselves and prosperity, aware that you can no longer be protected in your lives and in your property by any government based outside eastern Nigeria, believing that you are born free and have certain inalienable rights which can best be preserved by yourselves, unwilling to be unfree partners in any association of a political or economic nature, rejecting the authority of any person or persons other than the military government of Eastern Nigeria to make any imposition of whatever kind or nature upon you, determined to dissolve all political and other ties between you and the former Federal Republic of Nigeria, prepared to enter into such association, treaty or alliance with any foreign sovereign state within the former Federal Republic of Nigeria and elsewhere on such terms and conditions as best to subserve your common good, affirming your trust and confidence in me, having mandated me to proclaim on your behalf and in your name the Eastern Nigeria be a sovereign independent republic. Now, therefore, I, Lieutenant Colonel Chukwe Makao Dume Gojuku, Military Governor of Eastern Nigeria, by virtue of all the authority and pursuant to the principles recited above, do hereby solemnly proclaim that the territory and region known as and called Eastern Nigeria, together with her continental shelf and territorial waters, shall henceforth be an independent sovereign state of the name and title of the Republic of Biafra, and I do declare that 1. All political ties between us and the Federal Republic of Nigeria are hereby totally dissolved. 2. All subsisting contractual obligations entered into by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or by any person, authority, organization, or government acting on his behalf with any person, authority, organization operating or relating to any matter or thing within the Republic of Biafra shall henceforth be deemed to be entered into with the military governor of the Republic of Biafra for and on behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Biafra. And the governance thereof shall subject to this declaration be performed by the parties according to the Ateno. Third, all subsistent international treaties and obligations made on behalf of Eastern Nigeria by the government of Federal Republic of Nigeria shall be honored and respected. 4. Eastern Nigeria's due share of all subsisting international debts and obligations entered into by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria shall be honored and respected. 5. Steps will be taken to open discussions on the question of Eastern Nigeria's due share of the assets of the Federal Federation of Nigeria and personal properties of the citizens of Biafra throughout the Federation of Nigeria. 6. The rights, privileges, pensions, etc. of all personnel of the public services, the armed forces and the police now serving in any capacity within the Republic of Biafra are hereby guaranteed. 8. We shall keep Six, seven, I beg your pardon. We shall keep the door open for association with and would welcome any sovereign units or units in the former Federation of Nigeria and any other parts of Africa desires of association with us for the purpose of running a common services organization and for the establishment of economic ties. Eight, we shall protect the lives and property of all foreigners residing in Biafra. We shall extend the hand of friendship to those nations who respect our sovereignty and shall repel any interference in our internal affairs. 9. 
We shall faithfully adhere to the Charter of the Organization of African Unity and of the United Nations Organization. 10. It is our intention to remain a member of the British Commonwealth of Nations in our right as a sovereign, independent nation. Long live the Republic of Biafra, and may God protect all those who live in her. End of 